For more on this, let's bring in Republican Congressman of Texas, Michael McCall. Congressman, welcome. Good to have you here. We've taken in a lot, along with our viewers this afternoon, of these images coming out of this Donna, Texas facility. Ted Cruz, uh, your Republican colleague, um, uh, tweeted out in response to what he was seeing along with us, a disaster of Joe Biden's making Donna, Texas CBP facility at 1,556% capacity, over 100,000 illegal alien detentions in February. Um, he, and he went on. Uh, what did you make of what we were able to see inside of that facility? Well, uh, look, uh, Sandra, I've seen this movie many times before as a federal prosecutor in Texas to chairman of Homeland Security Committee, now the Republican leader on Foreign Affairs Committee. And then, you know, this didn't have to happen. And now the entire world is now seeing the humanitarian crisis that was caused directly by the president rescinding these agreements that we had with Mexico and Central America that worked so effectively. And what they basically called for was that migrants had to apply for political asylum outside the United States. Congressman, Therefore, can I interrupt you for a second and I'll let you continue your answer in just a moment. These are brand new images uh, that we are taking in of these migrant children in that facility. Um, again, and this is after the Biden administration was pressed for more transparency, pressed for uh, journalists to get access to this facility. And Congressman, as we take this in together, I, I see kids one on top of another and they're crammed in this facility. The Border Patrol agent that spoke on camera just a few moments ago said he's had 39 kids there for over 15 days. 72 hours is the legal limit. He said that he's holding 4,100 in that facility. The, the limit was supposed to be 250 in COVID. I mean, there is an unbelievable situation that is playing out there. What are we going to do about this? What is the well, Biden administration going to tell the American people? How do they answer for this? It is a crisis, first of all. Uh, I've seen this before. It's the saddest thing you can see when you go down to the border, and I'm glad the press finally has access to show the American people what is happening down there when you have children and babies. And the traffickers are winning and the children are losing. The traffickers are exploiting these children and they're extorting the families in Central America where they have to mortgage their house to pay for their child at $8,000 a piece to come up through a dangerous journey where they are uh, sexually abused all the way to this border. It's one of the saddest things on a humanitarian uh, side and as a human being that you can possibly see. And the sad thing was it was all self-inflicted and self-manufactured and it could have been stopped. I am urging the Secretary of State in a letter to reinstate these asylum cooperative agreements that worked. The remain in Mexico policy worked. That's why we saw the numbers going down. The Trump administration got this right. The Biden administration in a very naive or willful blindness state rescinded these agreements, but we can reinstate them because this is what incentivizes the traffickers that I know very well and prosecute over many years to exploit these children for money. Now the signal and the messaging is, you know what, the green light is on and the United States is open for business. And guess what? They're coming. And until we change this policy, Sandra, yeah. we're going to continue to see this abuse of our ch of the children that, quite honestly, the ambassador from Guatemala told me they don't want to lose a generation of children. Yeah. And I'll remind everyone as we continue to see that there's new images that continue to come into us um, as we speak and we continue to put those up on the screen as that happens. Um, I've got only got a minute or so left here, Congressman, but Ted Cruz also pointed to that CBP this is we we understand the numbers of children that we're dealing with now that the that we are now seeing double the number of unaccompanied minors in CBP custody than we did in June 2019 double congressman final thought uh, it's going to get worse I've, uh, again I've seen this movie before in the springtime summers when they ramp up when once they know they can get in and now they know they can they're going to exploit these children, get them in with the political asylum. Uh, and it's, I predict, probably a million before the summer, unless the administration changes courses. It was a foreign policy blunder, and they need to fix it. Congressman, appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Sandra.